But there's certain people, right? They'll tell you about all the negatives before they can tell you about anything positive when you come to them with any big ideas or big dreams. Even people that are trying to sell something will tell you the wrong information. Like they don't want to sell you the product, right? So I've just come from a job um, job interview. I've just come from a viewing of a property. Yeah. Now, I ain't going to buy that property anyway because they've already pretty much had an offer and they're going through with it, but they always accept. Um, they always want to still uh, leave their door open, basically, for people to come and view the property and that. So, so, for example, I'm selling this house. Even if someone's put some money on the table until they exchange contracts and they hand over the keys, then they will still allow people to view the property or whatever. Isn't it? So I've gone to view this property, boom. I'm not going to buy the property. But a couple of months ago, I was looking on Zupra for properties, yeah? And there was one property, I think it was about like 80,000 in it. Like the properties in Northampton are cheap. They're like one bed flats you can get for like 120. If they, if they need work doing to it, it might be like 80 grand, 90 grand. It's all, it's all different, but they're, they're really cheap, obviously, compared to London. Isn't it? There was one property that has 68 years worth uh, worth of lease left. Yeah? So there was six years, 68 years left on the lease. And I called them up a couple months ago and I said to them, oh, um, you know, can I come for a view and whatever, isn't it? And he said, are you a uh, cash buyer? And I said, no. And he said, oh, because there's only 68 years on the lease, we're only accepting cash buyers. So I said, all right, then cool. And I just moved on. A couple months later, which was, what, two days ago, the same property is still up for sale. So I thought, you know what, maybe a different estate agent is running the property or whatever in it. Yeah? The property is still up for sale. Let me just call him and, and, and see what I'm going You know what, it was probably the same guy I spoke to before, in it. Yeah? So I said to him, right, so there's 68 years on the lease. Yeah? Is this property still up for sale for cash buyers only? And he said, yes. And I said, why is it only up for cash buyers only? And he said to me, oh, because most mortgage brokers won't allow you to buy this property because there's only 68 years on the lease. On the lease. So he said, basically, there's only one or two mortgage. Um, there's only one or two mortgage lenders that will actually give you the money to buy this property because there's 68 years left on the lease. So I said to him, so there is a chance that someone could get a mortgage lender to lend him the money. And he said, yeah. So I'm like, I said to him, why are you telling people information like that? Like, if there's a chance, yeah, like in the whole wide, in, in the whole of the UK, that there's only two mortgage lenders that will lend you the money to buy a property that's 68, that's got 68 years on the lease, yeah? I'm still going to go with that, right? Like, there's a chance that I could find someone who would lend me the money to buy a property that's only got 68 years on the lease. Although most mortgage lenders will refuse for whatever reason, most mortgage lenders will say no to that property because there's only 68 years on the lease. But if there's only, if there is actually two, yeah, it's only two, but there are actually two, one or two lenders out there that actually lend you the money, I'm still going to go with that, right? The guy's basically trying to tell me, ah, oh, the property is, 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 you know, it's off the market for me because I'm not a cash buyer. And I'm thinking to myself, but you don't know who I know. How do you not know that my dad ain't a fucking mortgage lender? Eh? My, a man's telling me, no, you can't buy this property because there, there's only one or two mortgage lenders out there that will give you the money, right? I'm thinking to myself, this guy's a fuck. Like, I wanted to, not blast it, but I wanted to give him a good talking to, innit? You know, like, stop telling people false information, yeah? You're saying that it's only for cash buyers only, when really it's not. There's only two, yeah? It's only two, but there are one or two mortgage lenders out there that will actually give you the money. So why are you telling people that it's only for cash buyers only when there are actually people out there? Yeah, few and far in between, yeah, few and far between, but there are actually people out there that will lend you the money. People like that piss me off, man. I know people, I spoke to people of lately, yeah, and I was in a conversation with a group of people, whatever, innit? and someone mentioned something about buying a property, and someone said, oh, no one's buying properties at the moment. Excuse me? Listen, you lot right now, yeah, you lot can leave the chat, yeah, um, leave the live stream, it don't matter to me, yeah, you lot will come back in here. Yeah? Go on Zoopla right now, I don't know about London, yeah, but I'll assume the same in London, around Northampton and Milton Keynes and the East Midlands, yeah, people are snapping up properties, yeah. 
If you don't believe me, go on to Zoopla right now, yeah? You will see all the properties that I've got sold, 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 or STC, sold, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called, subject to contract or something like that, right? There's a lot of properties that are going. All the properties that I've viewed, I only viewed about, let's say, three properties within the last week or so. The properties that I've viewed, all of them have had people offer money for the properties. But you've got people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about, and they'll be in a conversation with people and telling people, ah, oh, um, people aren't buying properties. Have you even been looking? Like, an older person to me said, oh, people aren't buying properties at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking to myself, this person obviously hasn't looked on Zoopla to check that people are buying properties or not. They're just saying what they think. They're just saying, oh, people aren't buying properties because they think the country's still in turmoil um, because of this COVID thing. We're really true. They ain't even look. Now, someone who, I don't want to say impressionable, isn't it? but someone who's not really, uh, really has that drive to go out there and look, right? They might take that information and think, well, do you know what? There's no chance of me buying a property in it. Now, that's, that's their fault because, you know, they're just going to go on what someone says. But a lot of people do go on just what other people say, right? So you got someone who's going to sit there and tell people, ah, oh, tell a young person as well. Tell a young person, say, ah, oh, there's no properties. People aren't buying properties at the moment. So they'll think to themselves, ah, oh, well, there's no point in me looking or whatever. Really. When really and truly there is. They just ain't fucking had a look. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're, they're saying things that they think, in their opinion, oh, well, the country's in turmoil, so there probably aren't going to be many properties that are for sale. I'm telling you guys right now. As said before, feel free to leave the live stream right now. Go on to Zoopla, go on to Right Move, search around Milton Keynes and Northampton, because I can only talk for Milton Keynes and Northampton and Bedford, but people are buying properties. You know, they're going like that. For what reason? I don't know why they're going so fast, but they are, isn't it? And so that person that said in front of everyone, oh, people aren't buying properties no more. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They obviously have not been onto Zoopla and Rat Move and had a look, but they're just saying what they think. And you might have little 18 year olds around them who think, well, you know, I did kind of have the money, but, you know, if no one's buying any properties, then forget it. So people, they always just tell you what they think. Wild Quan, man, like, hey, why London? Let me add you to the team. Bro.